continues in Anderson, where a man was beaten so badly he later died. WIFF News 4's Mandy Gaither is live and local in our Anderson newsroom tonight. Mandy, police are searching for a car, right? The victim's car believed to have been stolen by the killer. I'm really sad, but I'm also mad because somebody just deliberately killed him for no reason. For those who loved Reggie Thompson, a question is now lingering. I just don't understand. I don't know who, who would have done this. I just don't know. Aisha Ukta was more than just an aunt. She says Thompson was like her son. For them to kill him and then steal his car and everything, they got a lot of problems. They really do. And I really don't want to say what I think that they should do to him. I just hold that in. This father of two died at AnMed Health after he was severely beaten behind his home on East Orr Street this morning. Police say the killer then stole Thompson's car, even waved at Daniel Wardlaw as he went by. We just saw the car. We just saw it was Reggie. That's the only thing that we thought because we know his normal routine. It wasn't until Wardlaw saw EMS pumping his neighbor's chest that he realized he'd been wrong. He messed up. He always had was big lips, all face, all messed up. I saw crying. I just didn't. I just couldn't believe that that somebody want to do somebody like that. Now a family left waiting for answers. With a lot of prayer and with God's help, we'll get through it. We will get through it.